Hello and welcome back to my Craft the World Let's Play series where in today's episode we are starting exactly from where we left off in the last episode with the turret being placed. Perfect. And a bunch of dwarfs standing and chatting on the ladder. That's just great. Anyways, let's take a look at the tech tree because I can't remember what we did last time other than completing some of these. Alright, so we gotta work on advanced alchemy Railroad construction, master decorating, and expert weaponry. This is interesting indeed. Um, we could probably knock gold working off pretty fast. How much coal do we have? 50, that's for 25 ingots, which... Uh, mm. And for a gold sword... That's three, and we also need silver for that. Uh, that's... Okay, let's start by making all the silver that we can. That's it. Okay. Um, advanced alchemy. Let's see. Magic shooting range. This shooting range allows allows wizards to study all the subtleties of combat spells. So that, I guess, is kind of like... Um, this one right here, but upgraded, I guess. We also have Elixir of Fire. Make a supply of this Elixir for the dwarves, dwarf mages so that they can launch fireballs with their staffs. So this is kind of like fire arrows for archers and this is for um, the, well, the guy that uses spells, the mage. <laughs> um, and we got plenty of salmi brains and slime and Definitely resin. We got tons of it. Bottles. We don't have that much of bottles, though. Let's make 15. 15 should be good. We'll go ahead and make that. We also got bag of elixirs, which is increases the efficiency of the mage skill. We want that, actually. Well, I want that. So we got some health elixirs. We also got some mana. We just need the leather and rope. There we go. And we can now equip that to our guy. We also got Rain or Snow spell. This spell summons ordinary rain or snow on the surface depending on the current season. I guess it depends on what we, what um, world you're in. Magic Collect. This spell collects resources located within a small radius and sends them to the stockpile, which is going to be really helpful. Um, so we can either do that or the Imps summon. But let's now equip our dwarf Blaine with um, this. I think it goes, yeah, there. So that increases his skill from 29 to 37, which is, by my calculations, 8. So that is perfect. Um, I also wanted to work on some defensive setup here because we're having a lot of combat over here and I would like to have some turrets set up so let's see steel we need one to yeah make that for two turrets um, because I want to make two more of these and by these I need then this I need oil wooden bow okay let's make two of those because we're having a lot of combat over here recently, and um, yeah, I basically want this area to be a little bit more defended, so our oh guys a little bit safer. But I seem to have lost a lot of my scaffolding. There, there's some. So I want to get all that back. I think there might be some down here as well. No. But another thing I want to do is to make a railroad over here, since this is Portland, we're going to have some work here. So basically mine all this out, all the way over here. So like from here, build some, build like a base, and then just use this all the way through here to this, and this will be the station. That's what I'm thinking in a way, um, for easy transport back and forth when we start doing that. Um, but if we just go here, how many is that? Okay, that's three then. Um, let's see, if we go up 
and we place this in the background and then up here I don't know if this is going to work or not actually mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna make like two towers so and then up here actually put here as well and then one block out and then place them on top of there so they are shooting down towards the portal I think that's going to be okay enough um, um, what's it called support for when the battle appears and starts and all that stuff hey angry birdie hi all right that should be done place another one a zombie is appearing out of nowhere. Um, we can now make... Oh, we need more oil. Uh, let's make some more oil then. There we go. We need some more bottles. Let's make some more bottles. There we go. Ten. We need more glass. Let's make some more glass. There we go. <laughs> that, was, um, that was interesting. Anyways, we need one more. Let's make that. And then heavy shooting tower. We don't need six more steel. So six more steel. Two is on the way. So let's do that. And so that will equal six, which means we will get that. And uh, let's get rid of these guys. Right there. Some practice. Hope our archers aren't using fire arrows. No, they're not. Okay, good. That's very good. All right. I guess we should... Um, uh, I guess we should work on the railroad construction. So rails. You can now build a railroad. Place rails on several blocks in a row and then place at least one wagon. Alright. So that is a very basic um, recipe. So wood and that. Which will equal 15. I think we'll go into the 60 or something. Perhaps even more. But we'll have to see. Um, yeah. The monster wave seems to be coming a lot over here. But I will... Most likely add the same amount of protection over here as well. Um, I should probably I think I have one of those. Um, the little cover thing. I'll put one there as well. And I guess one here too. To add more protection to the area. Another guy's there. <laughs> then everyone is coming. <laughs> everyone is running. That's cool. Um... I also want to extend this area here actually so we can get space for more decoration because we want to make all this stuff and I can't fit it all in and the more dwarves we'll get the more space we'll need for beds as well which we got space for but um well over here we need space for more decoration decoration more decoration so I think I'll extend it with five all the way over here should be good and we'll decorate this area as well um, so battle is going to happen above wow above our heads but we will have to I think I'll either support it with bricks or these because the durability is where is it durability 9 durability 12 so I think I'll add like a roof or a border to this um, to basically make it safer if something should try and knock through this. But we'll see. Okay, so that is now done. I hope that doesn't look too stupid. This does not fit there. Let's place it... Um, not that. Let's place it here instead. There we go. And let's then make here, here. And I think this should be a lot better so okay we're still waiting for the steel they are working away making turrets and stuff um okay so we want the wooden backgrounds as well the wooden walls not background there we go make it bunch and just replace 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 Repl nope don't do that one replace Replace, 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 and replace as well. We'll put some windows in there as well. I don't know what windows we have. Um, these will be fine, I guess, since we have so many of them. I think we should um, 
think we should use them. We should probably upgrade these as well, to be honest. Because they're like, what, comfort... Uh, yeah, but I'm going to use these for now. I think I'll upgrade all these, actually. Upgrade them all. Might as well get those two extra um, points of comfort. Uh, let's see, can we make these now? Yes, we can. We can make at least one, two more steel bars are not being crafted. All right, let's get that done. All right. Let's get that. Yes. Yes. Get that done too. Replace stone. And then up here, I don't know how well this is going to look, but this is going to um, to protect us a lot more. So get that. We need to get some more water, but it's fine. Replace front stone there. This should add both to the comfort and also to the um, to the amount of the protection because it's more durable. I could use this stone, but I want to use the bricks for something. I could add it. I should probably add it up here, to be honest. Yeah, you know what? Scrap this. Don't do that. I'll just use normal stone for now, and then I'll and then I'll um, upgrade it later on. Where are my torches? There they are. And let's do that. So how many spaces? One, two, three. So one, two, three. Torch. One, two, three. Torch. Match is perfectly get rid of those nails and we should be able to make another one nope still missing one steel it's fine though it's all good and let's get a window down here and a window down there as well all right we're done with this section we can now dig this out like so and we will place stone here and I think I'll then add a brick foundation up here for extra protection all right replace 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 and replace that should do you know what add let's go out one more just to make it look better and then that should be it we can now place this up here a huge gigantic tower we can now place another one over here once that is crafted hopefully that will have range and be able to shoot down you guys really are bad at swimming okay well then go do something um yes we should get rid of that too we replace 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 and then over here Replace, 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 and that, I guess. There, let's put this here. And replace, and we should be good. Yep, that seems good. We have space for more furniture now. Um, are these being made? No, we are still missing quite a few. That's because we are, of course, doing um, construction and stuff. There we go. And we can now break that too. Then we just need to replace all this as well. So here, 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 and here. And replace that. There we go. nice oh he's making those fast that gotta go up quick <laughs> all right perfect so yes we are extending this um i would like to replace that with stone and then i think i will put a brick foundation here actually in here i think at the very least to add more protection at this 
area right here because we are so close to the surface. Um, might even do that now. I don't know how well it's going to look, but it'll be safer, at least. Way safer. So, you know what? Let's add this here as well. Just because I think it'll look nice and add a, um, make it look cool. Okay, so we need to break that and break that then. And that, okay, that should, that should work. That should technically work. Place that there, done with that. Nice. I think this is looking pretty good so far. I will need to add some more traps here, um, which I will do as well, actually. Let's see, I'm done with those. Let's see, do we have any more of those iron traps? No. We should make some. 16 might be a little bit overkill, but they do get used up and they are very useful. So, yeah. Uh, actually, I do need those back. <laughs> Uh, there they are. Just we can change the way they look. There we go. Nice. 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 Perfect. I think actually that looks pretty cool. So, and then I'll probably extend it to like over here once we get that much done. Okay. Place stone here. Build. And we can now finally place down some decoration. Let's see, what do we got? We gotta, well, I'll leave those. Actually, we should probably get some of that stuff back. Okay. Let's take a look at some of the new decoration stuff. Portrait? Oh, we need planks. We are not gonna get far without planks. So let's make a bunch of those right there. Should work out well. Um, he's still happy, that's good. And I think he'll get even more happy when, um, when he sees what we have made. He, it's, it's a totem that can't speak, but it's okay. I think he'll need this in order to help him. There we go. I guess he can climb without it, right? Yeah, they can. All right. Let's see. Are there any other decoration stuff we can do? Caged bird. An angry bird in a cage. It is actually called an angry bird. It amuses the dwarves. Um, oh, dear. Hmm. Okay. There are no days and nights underground, so everyone needs a clock. That is correct. Let's make it. Ah, we can finally get rid of that one single silver ore, and we need wood. Wow, I haven't chopped down trees in a while, don't think. Let's then chop all these trees down, and I don't think they'll be able to grow back because we now placed stone, but I'm not sure. Perfect. This area is now done. You should be able to do that without scaffolding, but it's fine if you can't. Okay, what else do we get? A pendulum clock. Oh, and now we need, now we need one silver. A massive floor clock for interior decoration. I guess we'll need two clocks, right? Um, there's some quick silver around here somewhere. There's right here. Hopefully those are not, um... there we go, get that. And that's all. Oh, it is. I was like, hopefully it's not um, goblins, but um, it was apparently. Okay. Pass. Keep the action pass until I say, don't pass. Equip all archers with fire arrows. We shall defend the home here. And. The mage shall have his um his thingies. I think. Don't know if he'll. I think he'll just use them on his own. Okay. 
they made a grave mistake. Whoa. So he uses his, uh, uses them on his own. I should probably get my um, my fireball spell out here. Help these guys out. There we go. Total annihilation. Our dwarves are getting a little bit low on health. Which isn't that good. But we are not giving up just yet. Here we go. We want to get this place out of here. Nice. Get rid of this place. There we go. Defeated. Phew. That was actually a, quite a surprise attack. And at the worst time ever. Because now our dwarves need to heal up for the big fight. That's going to happen in 8 minutes. But they should be able to handle it. They are tough. And... If not, then we should be able to heal them with heal potions. Alright, um, that's about 20 minutes. I think I'm going to call it an episode right here. I will, though, quickly check. Yes, they got that. Let's close that portal. Dwarf's hungry. Oh, okay. We need that, then. We need that. We need that. Let's get here. Let's go to food. Let's see what we got. We got a bit of grilled meat. Oh, wow. We need to, we need to make some stuff. Um, we need to make some more food. So, okay, so three bread on each. There we go. And one salad there. We'll get we'll get rid of all these leftovers. There we go. And then filled out with stew because we made that recently. Okay. Good. We need to make some more food as well, but I think for now we should be all right. All right. Back to crafting, guys. <laughs> um, let's just see. I think we have the... Um, yes, we have the silver now. There we go. Let's get the wood. We didn't get much wood, so we need to chop down some more. No, I made the wrong thing. Ugh. I made the wrong thing. Oh man. Wait, it's the same. Wow, that's annoying. I think we mined two silver ores, right? Oh, it's right there. That's annoying. You know what? I'm willing to use imps just to get this thing. There. Oh, wow. All right. Well then, they can they can go carry other stuff like in the house or something, because stuff are being crafted. So, not bad. Let's gather water as well since we do need the water. Wood is being collected, so that's good. Oh wow. Okay, the imps can help with that. So here, now we can make this. Oh, I see what happened. It only. It only did this like half of it. Okay, well, too bad. Let's see, can I maybe stop the production of the other one here? Yep, stop that. <laughs> I don't want a double of it. And landscape painting, let's just make that real quick. Nails, paper, and dye, which we also got from the goblins. Nice. Let's get a landscape painting right there. Lovely. All right, I'm going to call it an episode here. We need in the next episode to prepare for battle. Need to place down some more traps and stuff and heal our dwarves. So we'll do that in the next episode. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, remember to leave a like, comment and share with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe and enable notifications to get notified when I upload videos and also when I live stream. But anyways, hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.